Ladies and gentlemen, Bradford City have started out their EFL Trophy campaign with a 2-1 win away at Grimsby Town. And in today's video, I'll bring you guys my thoughts and reaction to the game. If you do go on to enjoy, make sure to drop a like on there for me. 100 likes on today's video will be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you're new as well. We are now on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed. If you haven't already, with that post notification bell on, it's free to do so and it does massively help out. Get a comment as well down in the comment section down below. Let me know down below your thoughts on today's win it was a pretty solid performance especially in that second half the first half was very even second half though we completely controlled it we were much the better team and we also made nine changes I think only Smold and Poynton kept their place from Saturday again another very good performance under Kevin McDonald who actually started himself in this one so you've got to give credit to Truman and Derbyshire and the other coaches who were on the touchline but we lined up then with Colin Doyle in goal he broke Harry Lewis's I think it was a 70 game streak of playing every single single game since he signed up for the football club our goalkeeper coach getting a run out tonight so Colin Doyle was in between the sticks with Oyugoke at right back first time he's played in a back four with Taylor coming back into the fold at centre back alongside at Kieran Kelly and you also had the returning Lewis Richards at left back in the midfield you had the captain Richie Smallwood partnered with the current player manager in Kevin McDonald on the right wing we saw Bobby Poynton play once more in the number 10 role was Chisholm Afoka and on the left wing was Emmanuel Sidibe now them two did rotate quite a lot throughout the game and leading the line was Tyler Smith. On the bench then we saw Heath Richardson, Brad Holiday, Matty Platt, Alex Gilead, Matt Derbyshire, Adam Wilson and also Freddie Jeffries making his first competitive appearance for the club I do believe tonight and it was kind of a side that we expected obviously it wasn't going to be full changes because we've got a number of injuries at the moment but I thought overall a large majority of the players did themselves a load of good because a lot of them played quite well if I'm honest. Channel memberships are now cheaper than ever with tier 1 costing just 99 P. Tier 2 has been reduced from $3.99 a month down to $1.99 a month and Tier 3 has been reduced from $8.99 a month down to just $4.99 a month. Your support as always is massively appreciated and the more members that we have the better the content will be. Enjoy the rest of the video. I mean I know you look at the Grimsby side and they've got some really talented players in their squad. I think they've got about 10 injuries at the moment so they were forced to play I think a number of first team players. I think there were 4 or 5 who started on Saturday who played tonight. Players like Camel Conte, one of the best central midfielders in the league. Aboisa has had a really good start to the season as well and you were looking at that and you're thinking you know what let's just see what the game is about it's a free hit it's the EFL trophy no one really cares about this competition and we started out pretty brightly inside the first couple of minutes or so Manuel Sidibe had a big chance which he put wide and I've no idea how he even did that I think it was Oyugoke kept the ball in play just about cut it back for Osidibe and he, he just dragged it wide which was quite frustrating but we opened the scoring then on 15 minutes I think that it was through with Kieron Kelly I think uh, it was a corner came and it was cleared it came out to Kevin McDonald he clipped it back in Ash Taylor climbs heist heads it back across goal and Kieron Kelly poked home in between the goalkeeper's legs, his first Bradford City goal, Ash Taylor's first Bradford City assist, and we were ahead in the AFL Trophy for about two minutes because the ball was squared from, I think it was Arthur Ganoa, uh, Lewis Richards got caught out of position, poor defending from him, ball got cut across, it kind of hits Raquel Pike in the chest or the belly, something like that, and it unfortunately squirms in past um, Colin Doyle, obviously, in the Bradford City goal. Then we saw the first substitution of the game in the 27th minute, Daniel Oyogoke was forced off with a knock and Brad Halliday came on now didn't actually see this or quite a lot of the first half because they had some serious Wi-Fi connections but I saw pretty much all of it in at the second half but all you go okay went off he had a pretty poor game if I'm honest a number of times he got the ball and he gave it away he didn't exactly impress all too much but this the rest of the first half then was a much of a muchness not a lot really happened to really know I don't personally believe and we obviously went into the second half no changes at the break and we found ourselves ahead in the 48th minute through Emmanuel Osadibe his first competition competitive Bradford City goal I do believe he's also a talking point later on in the video but Osadibe with some brilliant play he picks up the ball from the throw and plays it into I want to say it was point and I can't quite remember off the top of my head lays it back up to off to him first time Aboisa the Grimsby town man should get there he doesn't he bottles the tackle Osadibe gets there ahead of him then he does a fake shot to get rid of uh, get away from I think it was Atife or Fete I'm not too sure of his name off the top of my head and finishes it beautifully into the bottom corner a really really nice finish from a Manuel Sadibe and 
After that, it was pretty much all Bradford City. We had a number of other chances. There were a number of times where Smith was played in behind in the first half and the second half, and he couldn't quite convert. Smith did have a big chance in at that first half. We did see another substitution in the 73rd minute. Lewis Richards came off and Alex Gilead came on. Now, I don't know what formation we played, but I assume Gilead wasn't playing left back. I don't know if he went to a back three or Gilead might have actually just been playing left back. I'm not really too sure. But then we saw a Bradford City Academy graduate, another one making their debut in Freddie Jeffries. He came on for Tyler Smith as well as Matty Platt coming on for player manager Kevin McDonald and I feel like we also brought on Adam Wilson for Bobby Poynton that was our final change and then we had a number of chances after that if I'm honest Adam Wilson had a shot which the keeper spilled and no one could quite tap it in but then the thing that's causing the most controversy after this game is Osadibe's red card Emmanuel Osadibe was sent off Harvey Rogers was not and for those who haven't seen the clip I would highly advise you to go watch it before I give my thoughts on it I haven't had the benefit of watching it you know time and time again at the full time was about 10 minutes ago at the time of recording so these are my raw reactions to it Harvey Rogers has a little bit of a nibble on Chisholm of Foca this is really late in the game 92nd 93rd minute and then he has not a, not a nibble he, he goes through him he absolutely nails him he's the most clearest red card you have ever seen because he's completely lost his head he's frustrated he's annoyed whatever but he absolutely nails Chisholm Afoka and rightly so there's a number of Bradford players who go over and you know they're backing up Chisholm Afoka because you know he's a, a young lad and he could have potentially had his leg broken Osadibe knows what that's like and rightfully he's absolutely furious he goes over grabs Rogers by the shirt there's a little bit of pushing and shoving pretty much all the players from both teams and some coaching staff are getting involved as well pushing and shoving some people end up on the floor and the referee comes away from that sending Osadibe off which I think it's a harsh red card if I'm honest you know if he's not touched his face or certainly from what we could see from the eye follow camera uh, he just looked like he, he pushed him grabbed his shirt and pushed him to the floor so I personally that's a yellow card get on with it but I think um, what I'm more annoyed about is the fact Rogers wasn't sent off and Osadibe was rather than Osadibe just getting the red card because the first one from Rogers, it's just a little bit of a nibble. There's nothing really much in it. It would have just been a cheap free kick. But the second one, he, he he's, there's intent behind that and he's gone to hurt Chisholm of Foka. He's absolutely nailed him and it is the clearest red card you've ever seen and he got booked. Osadibe was sent off. I think Osadibe's red card will probably get overturned from what we can see on the eye follow footage. It looks like Osadibe doesn't touch his face and it's not like he's kicked him or anything like that. So I don't really see personally how that can be a red card, especially when Rodgers has only been booked for it. It seemed absolutely criminal to me at the time and even now after I've had the benefit of watching it back once or twice really. But yeah, still bewilders me. Obviously, Osadibe will now be banned for three EFL Trophy games if that is not overturned. But the full-time whistle came just a number of moments after that. They had a chance really late on in the game. I think it was Hollihan had a free chance six or seven yards out, completely misses the ball, falls into Matty Platt he's calling for a penalty but the referee blows for the full time whistle we take away three points in the Papa John's trophy it's always nice to be able to rotate leave players like Andy Cook Sam Stubbs Jamie Walker Liam Rydow these really talented players at home and you still come away with the win and we had some really really good performances in there Colin Doyle didn't really have much to do he made one save in the first half but that was about it really Ash Taylor had a dodgy five or ten minutes in that first half period but I thought overall looked pretty solid Richie Smallwood absolutely outstanding absolutely brilliant once again I don't I can't think of one thing that he did wrong throughout the whole match since Mike Hughes has departed Richie Smallwood looks like a championship player once more and it's absolutely brilliant to see he looks outstanding Osadibe very hit and miss scored a great goal apart from that was really poor in the game I felt if I am being honest and obviously gets his red card but I do think that was quite harsh Smith I don't think played all too well if I'm being honest a couple of rush chances that he didn't really show much composure for and there were a couple of times where he ran offside and yeah it wasn't a great game really from Tyler Smith Kieron Kelly pretty solid scored a nice goal as well so you got to give him credit for that or you go okay not great didn't really offer all too much if I'm honest Bobby Poynton I thought had another really really good game each game he just seems to get better and better really impressed by him once more very good Kevin McDonald for the large part I thought had a pretty good game not quite as solid as Smallwood but I still thought overall he had a pretty solid game Lewis Richards not great if I am being honest I personally think Rydog will get the nod on Saturday today you know you could argue he's at fault for the first goal he's certainly out of all the players the one that I would blame the most if I am being honest which is a shame because I quite like Lewis Richards but I don't think he's done himself much favours tonight and Chisholm Afoka was absolutely awful he was I think he gave the ball away pretty much every time he had it or just passed it backwards he looked a little bit lazy and lethargic I didn't, wasn't really impressed with him if I am being honest in terms of the substitutes Brad Halliday 
to just Brad Halliday, absolutely outstanding, the best fullback in the league, no questions about it, defensively, even offensively now, he is the best in the league, he's absolutely incredible. Matty Platt wasn't on for all too long, if I'm being honest, but when he, from what we saw of him, he wasn't too bad, Alex Gilead again wasn't on for all too long, a little bit more than Platt, but didn't really do all too much, Adam Wilson had a couple of bright moments, you know, bright spikes in there, and obviously Freddie Jeffries looked really good, he looks very similar to Pointon in terms of how tidy he is with his play, you've got to give a lot of credit to our recent academy coaches, you know, including people like Martin Drury, and you know, the few that have unfortunately since departed and gone on to bigger and better things, because some of these plays that we're producing look very good, and I don't think Freddie Jeffries is currently on a professional contract. I don't know if he's 17 or 18, but he looks really good, and we only saw 10 minutes from him, but he looked really tidy, really composed on the ball, very similar to Bobby Point. And I think we also had two other academy players or academy graduates travel with the squad tonight, which was obviously great to see. But overall thoughts on the game, we deserved the win based on the second half. Like I say, first half was very even. Second half, we much dominated that. And I think Grimsby brought on a few academy players as well. You know, they didn't really seem to be going gun ho They didn't exactly bring on Danny Rose off the bench. Like I say, they had a number of injuries. But for our second string players for the large part to come away with a comfortable win against Grimsby who are no mugs you know whether it was their first team or second team I think is really promising shame about Osadibe's red card I still like what I say don't think it was I don't think he deserved a red card if Rogers wasn't going to get a red card I think both of them des deserve the same color card whether that would be yellow whether that be it, be red sorry I'm not really too sure but overall we'll take the wing I think we've also got Man City's under 21s and I think Barnsley the other teams in our groups uh, in our group, sorry, I don't know when we play them. I've no idea. I've not really got much interest in the AFL trophy anymore, if I am being honest. But yeah, I am going to leave it there for today's video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and hit 100 likes, as I said at the start of today's video, that would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed. If you haven't already, with that post notification bell on, it's free to do so and it does massively help out. Get a comment in as well down in the comment section down below. Let me know down below your thoughts on today's AFL trophy win over at Grimsby Town. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all very soon for another one. Peace.